Good morning, Grade 5 pupils! To ask God's blessing, let us all bow our heads and prepare ourselves for an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for all the blessings we received. Send us the Holy Spirit to guide us in all our studies. Bless our teachers and parents. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pupils. Welcome to our fourth week of class. I hope by this time you are already familiarizing our user-friendly learning modality. We are done discussing the special properties of solid. Today, we are going to talk about the special properties of liquid and gas. Let me present you our objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to cite and describe the special properties of liquid and gas, express the importance of the special properties of liquid and gas in human's everyday life, illustrate matter and its properties through a graphic organizer. Can you meet those expectations? Good job! Let's play! The title of the game is Pick Me. I have here a tree of matter. This tree is bearing a lot of fruit and I named all of them. I will give each one of you two baskets. Basket 1 is for liquid and basket 2 is for gas. Now, I want you to pick all the fruits and put it in the red basket. The pupil who picked the most number of fruits and put it in the right basket will be our winner and will get the badge of a best harvester. Would you like to be the best harvester? Well then, pick all the fruits and put it in the right basket. Show me your baskets during our live class. Good luck! Reap all the fruits, my dear little harvesters. You have 30 seconds to do that. Thirty seconds is over. Now keep all your baskets and present it to class on Wednesday. Let us talk about the special properties of liquid and gas. Liquid has special properties like fluidity, viscosity, capillarity, and surface tension. Fluidity is the ability of a liquid to flow and the ability to resist flowing is viscosity. Example, these jars contain two liquids of different viscosity. This jar contains honey and this jar contains olive oil. Suppose you turn the jars upside down at the same time, then turn them right side up. What do you think will happen to the contents of the jar? Very good! The honey flows slower than the olive oil. Since viscosity is the resistance of a liquid to flow, then liquids that flow slowly have higher viscosity, while liquids that flow quickly have lower viscosity. Liquids also rise in small fine tubes. This property is called capillarity. The cohesive forces between liquid molecules are responsible for the phenomenon known as surface tension. It is formed when molecules of water stick together, forming a thin elastic membrane or film on the surface of water. 
they can also change the solid upon reaching freezing point. Water changes to ice when it reaches 0 degree Fahrenheit. Upon reaching boiling point, liquids can change to gaseous form. Those are the special properties of liquid. Next is the special properties of gas. Gases have no definite shape and volume. They can spread out in whatever space is available or fill in a container. Gas molecules are widely dispersed so they have the ability to spread out faster. This property of gas is called diffusibility. Example, as spraying your favorite perfume shows that air spreads or diffuses the molecules of perfume. Gas molecules can also be placed in a container. This property is known as compressibility. LPG is an example of liquid gas placed in a metal container. Gas also has low density, that is why it can rise easily. An example of this is helium, which causes an inflated balloon to rise in the air. Gas can move things due to its pressure. This can be seen in a pressure cooker. For example, when the air pressure in the pressure cooker increases, its cover vibrates or moves when not properly locked. The pressure of a gas is the force of its outward push divided by the area of the walls of a container. It is measured in units of kilopascal. Before we end this discussion, let us summarize the important information discussed. What are the special properties of liquid? Correct! The special properties of liquid are fluidity, viscosity, capillarity, and surface tension. What about the special properties of gas? That's right! The special properties of gas are diffusibility, compressibility, low density, and pressure. There ends this video discussion. I hope you learned something today. For your activity, please accomplish this graphic organizer. This graphic organizer summarizes lesson 1, matter and its properties. An activity sheet for this is uploaded in the LMS. Please check it out. Submit your output using this file format, surname, underscore, grade, and section. That's all for today. Goodbye class and see you in our live class. Don't forget to bring your baskets with you.